you're welcome, Carol. I'm so chuffed to, to just hear your journey and speak to you because I know I spoke to you, gosh, you know, it's over a year ago about Marble yeah. when you wanted to transition her. Um, so she's just disappeared. She, she is a little whippet, a beautiful little whippet. Who's basking, in her. She's basking in the sun. Ah, uh, there we go. That's where she would much rather be. Oh, you pretty little so <laughs> They're such pretty, pretty little dogs. They really are. But no, thanks so much for doing this. Because um, if you just wanted to share with other owners your your whole journey that you went through, your your reason for choosing to transition her in the first place, um, and and the challenges you found, the positives you found going from from what you used to have. Yeah, love to hear your your side. Yeah, well, it was quite simple for me, really, because I'm I've been vegan for uh, 16 years now, yeah. and I could it wasn't sitting well with me the idea of feeding dead animals to to my dog, mm. yeah. and then I started thinking, is that is that really what she needs? You know, and she she seemed healthy enough, but the first thing that made me think about it was I noticed. Um, can I talk about poo? Absolutely, we do a lot of food talking. I noticed that with the food we were buying for her, um, the, the lentils that were in the meal. Were yes, a, yes. They were kind of old, like she wasn't oh, like... Oh gosh, that's right, I remember, because it was she was having, wasn't it? Which is which is the homemade cooked meal, meat or meat-based. Exactly, but they didn't mash up the lentils. Yeah. And... Yes, yeah. Or they soaked them or something. So I just thought, well, what is she, what nutrients is she getting from these if they're coming straight yeah. out? Yeah. So that combined with, you know, my moral issue with, with animals and animal welfare um, got me Googling or Yahooing or whatever. And I came across you um, and your mission and what you're doing to help all the animals and, and the issue of taking that carbon footprint away from marble was just so enticing as well. It was a no brainer. Um, yeah. You know, and the, the home baked meals, they're so wonderful and easy to make. Um, oh. And we cook for ourselves every day. So why not cook for our little ones as well? Yes, oh, you know. well done you, Carol. That's just yeah. so positive. And did she take to it really quickly when you transitioned her? Or... Yeah, didn't I send you? I think I sent you a picture of her licking the pan. Exactly, yeah. her whole head in the pan. I love that. Mm. Just love it. We'll show it. We'll show we'll it. Her food down. Yeah, she's absolutely. A, like a, just gobbling it up. And but but then gradually she, we started realizing that she had favorites. Yeah. Um, Which are her favourites then? What What is her preference? Wandering around there. Um, she loves the tofu turmeric bake the best. Oh, wow. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Which, which actually would be probably one of the higher protein ones because tofu is the best protein source there is for plant based dogs. Um, and oh, well done. Well Ooh, done, Mar, but I like your taste. <laughs> She's <laughs> such a regal looking pretty girl. <laughs> and oh and, and health <laughs> health wise, do you find she was she's as healthy or healthier or yeah, uh, any changes seems, that you saw? She seems to have more energy. Good. Yeah. Oh, right, I've got biscuits in my pocket. Oh, you do. <laughs> the favorites. The favorites are in there. I love oh, her coat. Oh, he's got a little solar vegetal that she loves. Oh. Good girl. Oh. Yeah, no, her energy is, is boundless. Um, yeah. We realised that she didn't enjoy the bakes so much that had beans in them. I think it's because she's so full of beans herself. She's always <laughs> wanting to go to the park <laughs> and play. And it's, it's consistency, actually. I don't like I don't like beans myself. Mm. I don't. They, they they have a certain consistency because obviously. Um, I mean, you mentioned about the the food she used to have, which was which is which is actually one of the least sustainable foods you can buy um normal dog food chooses byproducts from the meat industry i mean from the, the slaughterhouse so so you're getting all the bits of of the animal that that humans don't want to use but companies like and there's actually quite a few now there's um i can't remember all the they what they do is they're actually taking human grade meat so meat that we could eat ourselves 
which is why it's premium quality you get in this home cooked mm. food um, and cooking it in every single meal for dogs. So you're actually turning a small dog like Marvel into having a much higher carbon footprint than a human because a human wouldn't have lamb meat or chicken with every single meal um and so so actually the carbon footprint of these big companies is uh, i'm sorry of of a company that makes these home cooked meat-based meals is so is far far worse they they there is talk that they're going to produce a vegan option but um, but thank goodness there's a company that's beaten them to it, which is do good, which which is actually worth trying as well. If if there's times where you I know you say the cooking is <laughs> the whole head in your pocket. <laughs> but do, so so do, I love it. It's so silly to just see a whole head nestled in there. It's like a little one of these activity mats is where to find your food oh, yeah. in your pocket. Yeah. But um, but no, so so what do good have done is they've actually they're the they're the vegan wonderful sustainable company um where where they make homemade food that's also like a lot of the recipes it's soya free and it's just completely balanced right. and um and it just arrives at your door and and you just do good do good yes and and just just these wonderful new companies that started last year which which are carrying on there will be more this year which is mm-hmm. what's so, so exciting but so well done you for for having the foresight to to actually see the future because um because definitely the um you've you've gone with the healthiest option as well by by choosing the best foods but equally by going with home cooking because then you have complete choice over what ingredients you're feeding her and it's the food we buy in anyway that's right go to the greengrocer in the village and just come home with really colorful foods and it's all three of us you know the whole family wonderful yeah which is which is um, that feed the rainbow. That's what we, we mm-hmm. all need to do with all being plant-based is the more color you eat, the more nutrients you yeah. take in. And, and it, it works exactly the same with, with our animals is the more color we have in, in our diet, the more nutrients they will be getting. Um, so, so no, well done. And then going back to those lentils. So now that you know how mm-hmm. to cook them properly as well, that lentils, they, so lentils contain, well, legumes contain something called phytates, which are actually anti-nutrients. They actually protect protect the legumes because legumes are so high in protein um, as a plant source. They're the only plants that are able to take nitrogen from the soil instead of from the air. They use special bacteria to actually build up the protein in, in, in their own cells in their own plant cells um, and so what they've done to to naturally protect themselves is they actually produce this, something called phytates which which are are these anti-nutrients and in order to reduce the anti-nutrients hello marble um is is the important thing with legumes is to to soak them which i remember explaining this to you a year ago and, and you've taken it all in is you soak them well 24 hours before cooking and then you cook them well so that they're completely mashed which is what marble doesn't like she probably doesn't <coughs> like that that mashed flavor and um, and i remember you asking me once which which was such a valid question is should you add some sorry someone come to the oh no fling a toy over that'll do it <laughs> you hear the thing sometimes the, the rk is just out there so she's uh, not oh yes no no that's absolutely fine Coming from the hail she's not oh gosh in the hail <laughs> your hail <laughs> <laughs> no. um i've forgotten what i was saying now what was i talking about i was talking about um, oh yes yes like, you know you were brilliant because you emailed me and you said how maybe you should put, add some agar agar oh, to her yeah. food yeah for the texture. yes did did you have to do that we haven't needed to do it yet i did get oh. something but um yes. we had some solo vegetal dry food um yeah in the cupboard, which I'd forgotten that we had ordered. Oh, um, and I said, I said to her, it's like, well, should we just try this yeah. and see? And it was an instant hit. Oh, um, so she had that for one day. And then we tried the tofu turmeric bake again, which was her favorite. And we've been mainly altering those two. We've done some sprouted grains, which she seems happy with. 
yeah it's the rainbow it was more um yeah it was just anything with the kind of with the cannellini beans and things she was just yeah it's interesting know, maybe she got suspicious about the bakes i'm not sure but that's right with any diet dogs yeah they will go off things sometimes and definitely and and they love that yeah so yeah. so you've done you've done all the right things because they love that variety of texture and she mm -hmm. obviously is quite a tactile because um because if it is the consistency of the beans that that she's not happy with so what the ego ego does it's um it's used in in japanese cuisine so it's fully vegan and it makes things slimy so it turns you just mix about a teaspoon in a kilogram of, of food cooked food um, and what it does is it turns it into the consistency as if you're buying tinned food, which is mm -hmm. slimy, which it's dogs okay. like that sliminess that you get in, <laughs> in, in food. So, and, and obviously it adds a little bit of extra fiber. So actually it, it is quite a, a, and you can buy it from Buy Whole Foods online. It's very easy to find agar agar. Yeah. Um, but um, so, so yes, yeah, so I mean, obviously the solo vegetal is sorted it and just changing her consistency around, which is obviously what she loved to, to just have that variety with that crunch. And she obviously loves the biscuits, but the combination that you're giving her now is absolutely perfect. Yeah. So, so well then, yeah. No. She came, she came to me today wanting the bake. I'd yeah. put her vegetal out, her little biscuits, which she normally just inhales. And she just came up to me and she sort of put her paw on my my leg and then oh. walked me to the door where the fridge is. Oh, she so said. And I got a bake out for her and it just disappeared. So oh. she knows what she wants and she's so yes. clever. Yeah, so, so, so clever. Yeah. She's so oh. bright and she's yeah. so fast. You know, mm. when she's it, but she's she's fast. People always remark on how fast she is. Yes, well, she oh. is a little bit yeah. she's so soft oh. and so shiny and again yeah. commented on she's yeah. just she's doing and, some striving and i can see that the bond you've got with her is just so close so so close she is like your little child and so it's just also that knowledge that she's sharing in everything with you every mm -hmm. lick you're getting from her her saliva carries no bacteria because all meat-based food will carry bacteria, which sits in their saliva, but there's nothing there. So any licks that you mm -hmm. get, there's just, I, I find that with my own dog, it's the most wonderful thing is that, that they're, they're clean, they're completely sterile. There's nothing, <laughs> there's nothing none dog. Nice they're feeling, they're like it? family members, exactly. <laughs> it's everything, yeah. everything about them. No, well done. Oh, I'm just so pleased. And just so nice for other owners to, to see Marble, to hear Marble's journey as well. And, and, and thank you. It's been great um, knowing that at any point I can just send you an email for advice and, and you just answer straight away. And here you are chatting to uh, us again. And yes, so just thank well, you for, for that as well. No. Oh, that's absolute pleasure because yes, it's, it's owners like you that we need so many more owners like you. We really do. We just need loads more to realize that this is the future and, and she will live longer than other dogs on a meat-based diet because she's getting mm -hmm. purest protein and the purest nutrients straight from the source rather than all recycled through through an animal. And then I've, it just... You, yes, it's as you say, it's just a no brainer when you mm -hmm. when you consider the amount of animals that are being saved course, yeah. instead. So, yeah, mm -hmm. wonderful. Thank you. Thank you, Carol. So appreciate this. I'll, and, just, um, uh, I'll just show you, know, you where she is now. Yes, please. We'll have to end on our sweet marble. Oh, gosh, she's such a pretty girl in her favorite chair. <laughs> 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 wonderful.